So I'm collaborating with Paradox to bring you, what if the Egyptians had an empire like the Roman Empire? The year is 300 BC and the Egyptians are bigger and better than ever before, reaching all the way to the Iberian Peninsula, even getting all of Sicily. Now, Rome is here in the Italian Peninsula, but I don't know how they're gonna take their new mummy overlords, especially because by the end of this video, Rome is gonna be a lot bigger, and they're not just gonna willingly give Egypt the title of emperor, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned and watch this whole thing to see who wins out on that. I'll be using the new free update to Imperator Rome, as well as the Heirs of Alexander DLC. These things are bringing huge changes to the game. Levies, legions, military histories, and a big UI overhaul are just some of the things to expect, and the Heirs of Alexander content pack brings unique mission trees, new events, and a wonder designer that allows players to build their own custom monuments. For more information on that and even more, check out the link down below. So as you can see in this world, Egypt is obviously the strongest nation. It's not even close at the moment, but this northern nation in India is definitely going to also cause problems. Once they clean up their subcontinent and take out all these nations to the south, they don't really have to worry about fighting a two-front war. They can focus on pretty much everything to the west. Now the third and fourth most powerful nations in this world were formerly a part of Alexander's empire. They both basically border Egypt as well so they're probably going to give him some issues right away. Again, for anyone that doesn't know, Alexander has just been oofed. His massive kingdom has been splintered between a bunch of people that were underneath him that wanted their own land. It's going to be a big old fight for the rest of it. Egypt was actually a part of that as well. Also, there is no Carthage, so don't expect any sort of elephants taking a vacation through the Alps at all. Hannibal won't be doing any sort of pro-gamer moves in this universe, unfortunately. But maybe Egypt can send in an army of, like, cats or something. They like cats. A lot less epic sending cats through mountains though. Maybe they can send them aliens. They, they have contact with aliens, right? I can't make an Egyptian video without like talking about the aliens just once. Of course, my favorite nation in this game is back and boy, am I glad to see them. Although I will say there might be some competition here because later in this video, there's gonna be a future nation that pops up that might give them a run for their money. Like just in terms of pure alpha way to name your nation. It's barely been 15 years and Rome is already exploding down into like modern day Naples. And now these two ancient superpowers are starting to even border each other. This is like the first First connection. Rome is trying to already finish off the Etruscans. They're not holding back at all. I think they see how massive Egypt is and they're like, wow, we really got to get started. All the while, the Seleucid Empire just completely obliterated their former neighbor. They're, they're, they're just gone. This, these guys aren't even here anymore. How do they get in modern day Turkey? I have no idea. That's a part of the mystery. Oh wait, no, they're not gone completely. These guys are hiding up in Greece now. Greece is a whole nother story. I always root for Sparta, but if they don't have like a massive hole to kick all the Egyptians down into, I don't think they're going to have much luck. These empires in Central Asia, are gonna need some soap because it's looking kind of gross over here. Don't want anyone to get sick. And immediately, Egypt's power is being questioned by these Iberians. A lot of their land over here is being sieged out. All of modern day southern Portugal, as well as a ton of Spain. Egypt might be starting to realize that having a huge empire maybe isn't that easy. Maybe they need to build like roads everywhere. <laughs> Or maybe just pyramids. Although all pyramids lead to Egypt doesn't sound as nice. Not sure how the Antignids somehow managed to get a colony in North Africa. Are we going to start colonizing stuff now? Is an Egyptian American colony somehow on the table? I feel like I'm kind of abusing the Egyptian AI for not allowing them to colonize Australia. In like all of my EU4 games, they colonize Australia. Uh, but you're going to want to really focus on this here. Things are not looking good. The Etruscans are gone. Crab rave time. Why am I imagining a crab rave like right next to Pompeii? Pompeii. This awesome happy crab event is happening and then the volcano erupts. <laughs> Armenia's looking pretty good here even though they're getting smashed. They actually might become like a western eastern Armenia. And tiny Albania is not necessarily having a good time. Maybe they feel out of place in this part of the world. Moria, which I've always questioned if I'm actually like pronouncing that right, is definitely dipping down into the subcontinent. They're doing exactly what they need to do. Uh, I thought for a second this was a nation of pandas that was about to take over all of India. I'd root for that. I always feel like the Roman AI likes to keep boy around for a little bit longer than usual. That always makes my heart happy. So Egypt definitely lost some land in Iberia, which is not a good start here. We're like in the first two, three decades. You're already embarrassing yourself in front of the Romans. Also, Rome has all of Corsica. They do not have Sardinia just yet, but this might be the point where they meet. Thought for a second there, the British Isles was gonna be united by Dumnania, but they've been busted back. These guys aren't gonna have that too soon. It's a little bit early for the Vikings to start pillaging, but I have seen that before in the past where they completely destroy something like in Scotland, start taking footholds here. The Romans are pretty much all ready to take on Egypt, even though they're not the biggest right now. Egypt's just trying to figure out the best way to keep everything under control. They weren't exactly expecting to take over like half of the world right now. Although, they had a pretty easy time taking on Babylon. Look at how deep they've cut into the Seleucid Empire. They just went right in through these uh, Euphrates, Tigris rivers and continued to just dip in. Rome has even started to take away Egyptian lands in Sicily. It is no longer pizza time for the Egyptians. So in certain corners of the empire, Egypt is definitely struggling. 
but in other corners, they're actually doing better than ever. They're actually showing signs that they can handle this. Mastodon, by the way, has all of Cyprus, which might be a good colony for them to get to, maybe take over some smaller places here. I'm starting to get worried. Like, if the Egyptians were like, hey, let's build three triangles here in the middle of the desert, what are they going to do when they find other things, like mountains or volcanoes? Like, in this universe, are there just going to be triangles everywhere? Parthia has arisen in Central Asia, although they do need to clean up the bacteria. It's literally inside them. That's the worst place to have bacteria. Or maybe it's good, actually. Sometimes that bacteria fights other bacteria. There we go, Britain. Let's get some started. You might as well, you know, have some sort of empire since the Romans might be kind of distracted from the south. They've somewhat slowed down their expansion a little bit, although they've reached a little bit further into Yugoslavian lands. Imagine me saying Yugoslavia to these people that are from like 300 BC. It's been a couple decades since the partition of Sicily. We have West Sicily and East Sicily. Kind of curious if they're going to build a wall here. Are they both going to choose drastically different ideologies? Parthi is now beginning to wrap up around the Caspian Sea because the Seleucid Empire just completely collapsed. Probably a one-two combo from both these guys up and down. Moria is definitely look like they're destined to take over all of India, although there's something, a little pushback down here. The Gauls or old France might have something to defend these lands pretty soon. I really don't know what Rome's intentions are going to be since they're going to be distracted pretty much the whole game with this huge rival down here. Macedon has lost Cyprus, but they've gained like all of Greece and even more, actually. Are we thinking about an Alexander Empire 2? It's a way better name than Macedon. Macedon, I feel. Maybe just name it Macedon too. That works. Here we go. First massive conflict. Rome is focused on southern Portugal and Spain, just like before. We know this is definitely a weak spot for Egypt. They've broken across the wall, and Sicily is now fully under control of Rome for now. Although with that, they've lost Sardinia and Corsica. Let's see if they get that back. This is actually the second Roman-Egyptian war, but it's the most significant for sure. Rome has way more allies on their side, but I'm not sure how powerful they're really going to be. Egypt only has two friends. That's kind of sad. Forever alone. Although Although Rome looks like they're doing pretty well, they've had a lot of their population oofed, but at the same time, there's a lot of slave Egyptians running around. But look at these casualties. Egypt has lost 10,000 men compared to, like, Rome's 900. Okay, that's a really bad sign. Of course, Egypt can afford to lose a lot of land, even though they might not win this conflict. I mean, it's not really a huge deal. I thought by now this Indian nation would be just massive, but they're still struggling. It's taking them a little bit longer than expected. Egypt surprisingly came out of that war with an almost stalemate. They even grabbed a a little bit of land in Sardinia. Although there's this weird landlocked part of Rome. I don't know why that is. Now the three Sicilies. So uh, it's getting even more exciting on this island. Little revolt happening in Iberia. That will definitely not be the only revolt we see in this video. Just as I think we're going to see like an ancient United Kingdom. If something happens. Something breaks apart. Ooh, are we going to see the Dutch soon? Let's get those dams moving. Get rid of all this water. Who needs that anyways? Macedonia looks like they're trying to get even thicker, but they got to worry about Pontus out of Turkey. The green nation has broken the truce. They want all of Sicily for themselves. I don't know why they did that. That seems like a terrible idea against Rome. Oh, especially because Rome is massive now. Good thinking. Rome has like half of the Balkans and they've reached into southern Gaul. It's definitely not pretty though. And oh yeah, this is the cameo I was talking about. Maybe the greatest name of all time, Bigaronia. If you're gonna name a nation anything, I think Bigaronia is possibly one of the greatest destined to do great things. How can you be Bigaronia and not be massive? Like I'm putting all my money on this nation right here. Wish we could do like a Vegas odds sort of thing. Everyone puts their money in on like some nation that they think is going to do good. I feel like the odds wouldn't favor Bigaronia. A lot of people would put their money on Bigaronia. I mean, why wouldn't you? Bacteria has almost been eliminated from this earth, saving humanity, I think, from a lot of problems, maybe. And India is a lot more consolidated now. There, It doesn't look quite as bad as the rest of the world, honestly. The border gore isn't too terrible. Pontus rises up, and Pontus disappears. Uh, Egypt somehow got this. I don't know how. Whoa, 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 Rome. We can't be having Byzantium already. This is like 500 years too early. We now have the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire? Or is this like a foreshadow event? I think it is foreshadowing. Uh, technically, it is all the same thing, but um, you're, you're scaring me a bit there. The Seleucid Empire are back. They have formed up, but um, it's still not looking good because Parthia is exploding. I've never seen Parthia do this well before. Egypt really hasn't made it a priority at all to get all of Northern Iberia, or maybe there's been some sort of Inquisition, maybe Spanish one that I wasn't expecting, or the Latin Inquisition. I guess that kind of works too. Rome has been united, at least in 
in terms of fonts, and they are bigger than ever. They definitely look like they can challenge Egypt for like all of the power of Earth right now. They've taken a huge chunk out of Macedon, pretty much not looking the same. Also, Parthia has focused on getting the north of Black Sea territory, really giving this kingdom a lot of trouble. Not exactly sure how these nations are going to fare when Rome gets a little bit closer to them, but maybe they can ally to Egypt and that could keep them safe. Or they could just wait for that to happen. A Roman revolt. I was making a joke about Byzantium forming up early, but now it might actually happen. This is a disgusting revolt too. How did you let it get this bad? Rome just has stuff scattered all over the place. Did somebody shank Caesar? Is that how this happened? Well, Egypt, now is your time to strike. Although, oh, they can't because they're fighting the big scary Indian nation. That sucks. Right when Europe is most susceptible, of course, something out of India. Also, these guys in India wouldn't be a pushover either. They would not be fun if you just had to deal with them and a couple others. Decades have gone by and the massive Roman revolt is still going on. Side note, this is possibly among some of the worst border gore I've seen. I'm glad to include this game as well into really bad, just spotted border gore. I'm getting that uh, pattern phobia thing. Triphobia almost? Is that what that is? Is Moria going to win this game? As like Egypt and Rome are distracted, it really looks like they're going to win out. I like that the Seleucid Empire is still holding on. I would like the Parthians to maybe survive too, but I don't think it's going to happen. I just realized Big Aronia did not live up to their name. How disappointing. I feel like Big Aronia is the most Italian thing. If they started in the Italian peninsula, they'd probably do better. Maybe they needed pepperoni to get their power level higher. Oof! Egypt! No! How did you let them get this close to your, like, capital city. They almost took your triangles, bro. Don't let them take your triangles. They also lost a lot of the Arabian Peninsula. I didn't think that would ever happen, but it's happening. Rome has finally ended their civil war, and now they can focus in, and if Egypt is having troubles in the east, then they could really bring a lot of heat down from the north. Everyone is also colonizing the uncolonized lands from the start, so the world's getting a little bit bigger. We do also have a pretty nice, like, Ireland nation, Irish nation starting to pop up. Rome now wants to be a cool kid. Their name's not Rome. It's the Roman Empire. I feel like they're a kid that just got back from summer break and they're trying to act cool now. My name's Francisco, not Frank. Get it right. Oh, wait, they're all doing it because there's... Yeah, what... What? Did I miss something? Egypt, anytime now. You gotta be like the rest of them. Egypt looked like they lost a little bit of modern-day Catalonia, and they're starting to be slightly pushed out of Iberia. So this is a Latin Inquisition, kind of, right? Britannia has formed up, and they are eating. They've eaten all of England and Wales, now for Scotland and Ireland. This part of the map is still really gross, but okay. Parthia looking huge, as somehow they've survived with being next to the Indian Empire, and they're really dipping in and getting a lot of this stuff kind of near Ukraine. Luggy looking kind of good too as well as someone's in like modern day Denmark thought that was gonna be Switzerland for a second I don't know how these guys are gonna survive maybe you'd have a chance of surviving if you were like hidden in the Alps but that's not happening Egypt hasn't lost any more territory for the most part they've gotten stuff back although they did lose the islands in the Mediterranean so they're definitely not gonna end quite as strong I think as they began but there's still a little bit more time left and as soon as I say that we have a Roman Gibraltar that is just formed up they're not gonna allow anyone to um, cross the strait I guess I why is this guy stabbing across? Britannia has formed. I like that. And they've pretty much united perfectly. I don't think they're going to have to worry. Well, they probably still have to worry about the Romans. The Romans are massive. Macedonia has somehow still survived, but um, I think Parthia has lost a little bit of land. Somehow the Roman Empire still look like the Roman Empire. A Roman Empire that didn't make it to Africa, though, and don't have all of the Iberian Peninsula. They also never made it to the British Isles, so that's a pretty huge achievement for these guys. They stopped them. Vikbo? Sounds a lot like Vikings. And Saxonia is here in Sweden. Parthia has made it to the end of the game. They have somehow managed to survive. They've eaten up a lot of nations, too. Also, the Indians are um, pretty powerful, but they didn't get as strong as I thought. They didn't blast through Egypt. They did keep this stuff, though. So here's the final score. Top 10. I don't know some of these small ones. Let's skip to some of the big ones. I mean, Macedonia made it to 8. But honestly, there's probably only like 20 nations left in this world. Not much of an achievement. How did Crete get above Macedonia? What the hell, Crete? You must be able to play really tall here. Because Crete really just has this island, don't they? Egypt has Cyprus, though. So that's an achievement. So this British nation got 5th place. Not bad. Egypt in 4th. They started so powerful and kind of fell three spots behind. The Indians in third, Parthia in second, very nice, and the Roman Empire somehow made it. They regained their number one spot, at least for this time period. It's fine. All Egypt has to do is wait for the Romans to uh, drink some lead, right? Maybe they're building their pipes out of lead, and that'll slowly make them go crazy. Or maybe the Egyptians need to just hire a bunch of, like, barbarians from, like, Russia to come on down. The Romans don't do well against barbarians. Like I said in the very beginning, if you want to check more about Imperator Rome's new free update, as 
well as the DLC. Click that link down below. Thanks to the February patrons. France doesn't exist. Rumel 57. I'm about a nut. The Glen Council. Thick Boy 3000. Stormtrooper 501. Rawl Sea Tree. Aryan After Hours. Hobsnitz. Polovsky. Patrick C. Manny Manny 74. Mac. Luxembourg Lover. Fusion Wolf. Full Sand Nick. Epi Nick. Elijah Senpai. Dalton D. Annie Kitty. And Ballin' Like Stalin.